YouTube friends and followers. Well, here is a difficult subject that I really didn't want to put on my channel, but I figure if this helps people, I'll put it on here. So there's a good doctor on YouTube. I think it's Dr. Mike or some guy out of uh, New Jersey. He's really, really good. And I was looking at YouTube to figure out how can I figure out about the coronavirus. And this um, map here by by uh, John Hopkins is really good. First of all, it's a really good explanation of, of um, all the different cases. So on the bottom here, you can sort these with country or region. So here we can say most of the cases are in China <clears throat> and you can go down here and say South Korea is next Italy is next I'm in the USA there's 86 here and then you can go down here and you can break these down as to city so if you go down here and say country region and you move it here to um, city state then you get more of a generic breakdown or a granular breakdown of where these cases are occurring there's Germany so I can actually find the county in the USA that concerns me, and it's broken down um, with that kind of okay granularity. So the Bay Area, San, okay, San Marino. No, let's see. I did see, I did see my county here. Okay, yeah. So there's there's Washington State, Snohomish County. There's three confirmed cases there in the USA. Providence, Rhode Island. There's two now. Portland. There's two. Sacramento. There's two. So, so two in San Diego, so it breaks it down more to a regional level. So there, it's showing on the map the cumulative cases, and you can move the map around to see where these are. I don't find the map useful. I like this tabular thing here. And then existing cases. So this is basically what cases exist. Who is sick right now? It doesn't have um, the cases that are solved. So then over here, this is a very unfortunate column here with total deaths. I like this recovered area here where if you look at 89,000, I would say a little less than half the people recovered now, which is great. Um, here's a log rhythmic scale, which is leveling off, which is good. This, this little chart's really useful. So if you hit daily cases, you can see the red are new cases and there's a spike when I think China changed her testing regimen. Um, these orange are existing and the green are recovered. So what's cool is the green is definitely um, outpacing the uh, the red and somewhat the orange too. So looks like people are recovering. Anyway, I know this is a difficult subject and I just wanted to give people this tool. I'll post the link to this tool on my YouTube and you can look at it. I know it's kind of grim, so just wash your hands. Um, you want to wash your hands for 20 minutes soap and water use the hottest water you can survive with your hands hottest water without burning yourself and that'll probably kill off a lot of the virus Sudge your hands wash your wrists wash between your fingers wash under your nails just wash your hands don't touch doorknobs if you don't have to um, don't touch elevator buttons the chinese are using a toothpick right now <laughs> which is cool inside an elevator they have toothpicks you pull a toothpick out and you punch the elevator button with a toothpick and that will help you not contaminate your hands. Okay, stay well. Thanks for watching the video and have a great day as usual. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.